All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. This is the last match for today's session, or tonight's session, whatever you want to call it. We have two local, and by local I mean um, local to Southern California players. Local bellflower players. Exactly. Hard times. It's hard times versus hard times. And it's Johnny Kang versus Foch Garcia. This is Andy Chen, yours truly, joined with Mr. POV Pool, Daniel Bush. Howdy, everybody. Now, you know, these guys play each other all the time. It's funny. It's like... I'd, I'd be a little bit... That was a good shot. Look, look yeah. how he buried that one ball, and he, that's how he played it. Played it to bring the cue this way. Foch is, Foch is probably taking this event very seriously. As he always does, I believe the last two years that I have been a part of this stream for this uh, great event, he's always got into the money. Mm. And, and last year uh, coming in fifth and sixth. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. And uh, I lost to him actually last year as well. He ran over me nine games or eight games to three. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Uh, Knocked me from the one loss to uh, from the winner side to the one loss. Foch Garcia. But Johnny Foch. Kang. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm just Foch is not anybody to take lightly. Well, neither is Johnny Kang. Yeah, I was just gonna exactly. Say. Johnny Kang's come in. He's come, he's either chopped or he's come in first. He's either chopped first and second, or come in first last three first Sundays in a row at Bellflower. So, <laughs> Foch is actually. I think he's playing with his own cue too that he made. Yep. Through Ariel. He works for Ariel. Ariel Carmelli Cues. He's, uh, Foch has worked for him on and off for like 11 or 12 years. So he's pretty talented as a cue maker as well. Well, it definitely helps to know what, what a player wants and looks for in a cue. Johnny missing and Foch missing. Fairly easy shots. I think the shot that Johnny just missed was kind of easy, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Well, missing the one ball earlier. Oh, I, I must have missed that one. Let's see. Hey, uh, yeah, Don Espinosa in the chat room. That's me, Daniel. And uh, sitting with Andy. Hello to everybody out there. Let's see, uh, Johnny's got almost an obstacle course back to his four ball, huh? But I see it's kind of a hole. I think he's just gonna go under the six and between the five and nine. Well, <laughs> or you can do that. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. As as well as Johnny does play, sometimes I, I feel like he can get a little reckless. Um, Johnny, well, Johnny. Yeah. He's he's um. He's he's, he's sort of a matador, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he, he plays with a lot of flair. John Henderson and. And the use of a lot of brute force. Yeah, actually, somebody observed that Johnny Kang is definitely like a, his favorite thing to do is outside English. Outside draw or outside, you know. Uh -huh. He uses outside spin a lot to get the position on the ball that he needs. And adjusts his draw according, according to that sort of stroke. Pretty interesting. 
but I've seen him make I've, I've seen him play some amazing combos. He loves combos, and uh, just all around good player. Clutch is stuck here. He's going to two rail it out. It's a nice hit, and look at the cue ball. Oh, he almost got safe. Almost got safe. Uh, you can bet that's definitely what uh, something similar to what Foch had in mind right there was uh, to hide that cue ball behind those that cluster the eight nine that was almost uh, what he was banking on or kicking on really. <laughs> so Johnny's now just going to show him just how mad that makes him. He's gone funny here, actually. He, he doesn't want to even go near that nine ball, but the angle that he's at right now, it's going to force him to kiss off this nine. So he better come up, not better not come up short. Okay. He saw that he could get there. Maybe an optical illusion. He got there. Okay, good. He was worried about that. He looked concerned, at least. So who else has been sweating with you, man? A little bit of spanky here and there. Okay. And, uh, and yourself. Oh, nice. That's it. Right. So, I mean, like, you know, I have some support here, but... You know, it's always nice to have a co-pilot sometimes, mm -hmm. so I appreciate you joining me. Oh, thanks, man. Meanwhile, over here, we got the BBQ versus... Uh, Who is this? Bart Mahoney, Bart house Mahoney. pro uh, for part times here. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, Barbara's got a bit of trouble there. Meanwhile, we got uh, break number two, or is this, this is break number one of this Johnny? Is... Foch won the break, right? I think, I think Johnny, Johnny broke, broke the first, first one, well. too. I think he gave himself a dummy rack there, if you want my opinion. Oh, well, you, you, can, you can tell, because he's uh, uh, talking under his breath right now. Yeah, he's probably mad at himself for <laughs> giving himself a rubber rack. Well, rack your own. Yeah, I'm going to steal another Altoid here. Please do. This is kind of uh, out of character for both of these players to miss like this already. Then again, it is already uh, past midnight, and many of these players have already been going at it since noon. Or, no, actually, Well, this didn't actually start started late. It started like, at 3. Almost, almost at 3, yeah. But uh, the anticipation of waiting for a tournament like this can be exhausting, too, you know? <laughs> for instance, Greg, when before he played Runny... Mm. I think he waited about three and a half hours to yeah, play had his to, next match. He had to sit cold, didn't he? Yeah, so... And and just prepare mentally for that. Yeah, absolutely. What's Johnny going to do here? You think he's going to line gonna, up a combo? He's going to draw back and then definitely line up for that combo. Yeah, yeah. I was oh, telling... Well, not draw back, but same thing. Get down to that side rail. He's got to be careful here. I like following. He's drawing, but his six could go astray. You see that? His six ball went out. If he followed, he might have gotten a better result. Uh, I think he's going to go for... I think he's going to... He's going to go for it, but he's got to watch out. Like when... He's going to get there. Okay, he's going to get there. That's good. It's real hard to stay even keel when you're in a match like this, too. Uh -huh. Even after a few misses, when you've missed a couple of times, too, you can already feel the awkwardness of trying to get into a gear, you know? It's a compound... Uh, I'm 
trying to find the right word. It's well, not you a know, fracture, but you know, it yeah, just, you don't it just wanna, snowballs. You don't wanna, you've got to check yourself mentally, I think. I don't know. You've got to make sure that you're playing the right shots. You know? But it's difficult to do in the, in the rhythm of it all sometimes. Dave Hemma is playing over here against Justin Logan on the next table over. So in a way, it's kind of like Hard Times Bellflower in here. It very is. I mean, uh, we have Todd Minobi on table, uh, I believe that is six. And Ramin, Ramin's just finishing a match over here on table Table one. one. So, okay. There's a little bit of SoCal representation on every, almost at every table here. Yeah, there is. Makes me wish I was playing. You're still upset you're not playing, huh? It's okay, man. I can, I can, you know. You could have played it. I would have chipped in to help you. you yeah. Know what? If you'd have just asked me, I would have, I would have actually come forward a little more and said, "Hey, oh, it's okay." Put an, an effort to make sure you can play it. It's okay. You remember what happened uh, in the Swanee a couple years ago? When we were doing the documentary upstairs. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't want another one of those to happen again. Oh. That's so right. it's either pick one or the other. Oh, that's right, because we played as well. Played, played, played and played, worked. It was just horrible. Yeah, that was the dumbest idea for all three of us. Yeah, to play we, we should have just either played and to hell with the documentary, or yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Barbara, Barbara's closing out a game here against Bart Mahoney. So it's now five to three. Barbara's trailing the two games, the BBQ, playing Bart Mahoney. This is a race to seven on that side, correct? Yes, yeah, I think they're both on the one loss there. Dave Hemma, I believe, beat Bart. Okay, that's right. Meanwhile, on this feature table, you are watching a winner side match. So they are going uh, to eight games here. Is it 2 0? It's 2 0. Uh, I believe so. <clears throat> well, Johnny's laying up here. He's playing safe. And he gets there. He's already given Foch problems. Hides the cue behind the nine, and there aren't a lot of ways to get to this two ball. Actually, I I can only see about two, and I don't know if I like either one of them. And he's doing a reverse English kick, or he's trying to go two rails around the five. Yeah, reverse English kick. There you go. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he leaves Johnny a shot. Someone asking, oh, Don Espinoza, yeah, um, Dave Hemel won his last match against the sack player. The sack player is Bart Mahoney. Johnny drops the uh, two ball there. Right? These pockets definitely uh, just look way more forgiving than uh, what, what we're used to seeing on, yeah. our, on my stream, especially. <laughs> well, you know, just hard times in general, because I mean, uh, you know, the term term to be Dominguez usually meant yeah, four inches or less, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And even though these are Dominguez tables, uh, yeah, they're a lot more forgiving. I'll tell you what, though, I think the tables in Mountain View were also wider pockets. Yeah. But the way that the, the pockets were either cut or shimmed, they were they were really weird. You know? they, they wouldn't take the balls all the time. A lot of balls were rattling. Right. You know, so they were deceivingly big. You know, or deceivingly, they were just deceiving. <laughs> So 
Johnny is making this look easy. Both these players are pretty fast paced, so you're not going to see a lot of like delay. Well, that was probably the longest uh, you will see him take on a shot. Wait, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Outside draw, maybe. Yep. Stun it back two rails, and he's got perfect position. Johnny's looking like he's at 3 0 now. Yep. The man they're calling Robo Q, Johnny Kang. Three games to zero. It's awful quiet in the chat room right now. Considering there's a, you know, a dwindling number. Uh, just shy of a hundred viewers. Hey, uh, you did, did you, uh... Stream the Bart Mahoney Dave Hamma match? I did. Oh, okay, well, I think it's available to watch. You Is just have to tune in on this uh, Ustream channel here, and there should be a video section somewhere. Unless, uh, unless they're not going to take videos off because you've gone over the limit, are they? What they usually do is they, um, they take videos off by date, so they'll start with my oldest yes, and yes. work my way forward. Because they only allow 10 gigs now, right? I don't know. It's uh, It's been a while since I've been fiddling with Ustream, so mm, uh, a lot true. of their new policies, you know, uh, is what it is, you know. I'm sure soon I'll just get these on, on the YouTube and just leave it. Be done with it. You know, I've noticed Johnny Kang actually is wearing an old Hollywood billiards T-shirt. I noticed that too. From the uh, original, well, not the original, but at least the one in the '90s, the Hollywood billiards that used to be on Hollywood Boulevard, 5750 Hollywood. And that's, you know, that's the design on his T-shirt is, is what they had in the rug. Their yeah, that's right. The rug I guess it's like them. a view of looking at a player from below, right? Yeah. A view yeah. of like the guy, the guy's feet are stepping as, on as your, if you're looking through glass floors. Yeah, yeah, from underneath him. Yeah, from underneath. Foch just did not line up right for that shot in the first place. I could tell by the way he stood up. He stood up out of line, so he was out of line getting down on that shot. So he's. He needs to slow himself down, I think, and check himself out and just make sure he's comfortable. If he... <laughs> I mean, Johnny's going to do his best to not even give Foch a chance right now, so... As you can see, though, uh, we are moving at a pretty steady pace with uh, RoboQ <laughs> at bat. Yeah. Three games to zero and another, well, uh, another clear opportunity here for him. But how's he, how is he on this three right now? He's perfect. That's how he is. Yeah, I'm sure you notice, have you noticed the use of his outside English? Most of his shots are like that. Okay, so he's going to go low outside on this one, too? I don't know. I, See, I'm just Johnny Josh, and I, I don't... Away. He might. He might go low outside. Really? Just low float outside? Up, float up table yeah. for the seven in the side. Perhaps. I figure just low would be good enough. He might play it like that for the seven in the side. See how he does. Or he oh. might just stun real soft. He's using the brake cloth to uh, to bridge over that pocket. Yeah, he's using it. Uh, he's using it yeah. so that the cue doesn't rub uh, against the rubber. Friction against the rubber. Yeah. Causes it to it roughen happens. up his stroke. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. I've seen people use a dollar bill. Oh. You know, Roger, Indian Roger does that. He'll take okay. a dollar out of his pocket. Interesting. Do you know which gold crowns these are? Oh, shucks. You know, I was, as I was playing today, I, I had forgotten. I think they're fours, actually. These are fours? fours? I feel like four, unless these are a different kind of fours. Cause, uh, yes, I agree they are probably a different kind of fours. But yeah, because it has the recessed pockets. Mm -hmm. um, these are beautiful. They are nice tables. I mean, they've got um, brass finish, you know, yeah. black. It's almost like a retro, retro uh, design, really, isn't it? Sure. With the brass uh, finish and, and the black or ebony sort of wood. Foch gets on the wire. Let's see, Bart Mahoney and Barbara Lee still going at it, and it looks like it's still 5-3, but Bart Mahoney is about to close out Iraq, shooting from the 7 right now to the 8. Doesn't look that hard. Bart gets perfect for a shot on the 8. Here we go, Foch breaking. Three games to one here in this match. Dry break and almost like a, I think this is a two-way shot. Just play a stop shot like on the one. Well, he might not have enough angle to play the bank. I know. Uh, that's what he's going to do. Okay. All right. Good speed, actually, because even if that five wasn't there, he still would have been safe. Or the four is what he bumped into there. But Foch has a chance to play rail first. With the right speed, he'll probably get good shape. Somewhere. Please, 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 All right? That's what he's asking. I think he's got his shape that he wants. You think he's going to go for this nine? Oh, no. I, I, was, I was talking about side pocket. But I don't think he can make the side pocket. I think he's looking think at the he's nine. Okay. I think it's a two-way safety shot. He'll carry him. Yeah. Leave the two tough. And uh, it's a two-way shot. And there you go. There you go. It's a good shot, Fosh. Welcome back, Bacon. Tourney's going great. I just got knocked out. <laughs> So I'm free for the next day. <laughs> and apparently the news is going to be here tomorrow to do a little story on the finals or something, you know, on day two. I think they were here last year, too. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's, there's a... I think it's a generally a small town. Uh, may well, that was a great force follow right there, wasn't it? Oh, that's going to hurt Foch. You know why it's going to hurt? He Okay, look, Foch got safe here, but... Foch knows he's not playing right right now. He's not. That's what's bugging him. That's what's going to continue to bug him. Is he's he got really lucky here, but Foch knows he needs to do something different, or he's going to keep missing tonight, and it's not going to be good for the rest of this match. 
Johnny is in jail. He's trapped right here. He, he can't even get anywhere near the three. I mean, I don't see a shot. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was just uh, up in arms of that shot. So Fach is going to take over here from here, and this isn't going to be easy either. So. He's, he's probably setting up a carom or a uh, combo here. Are you still in, Melinda? Yeah, that's good. Better than better than me. <laughs> I got sent home early. All right. Well, Foch is uh, playing a little better now. Well, at least with that one shot, that one scenario there. So he got out of that. It's now three games to two. Three games to two, and Bart Mahoney's a 6-3 on Barbara Lee, and, but he's stuck. He's frozen on the seven ball for his next win, so that, that match is still going on. Dave Hemma looks like he's up on Justin Logan two games to one. Exceptionally good shot by Johnny. And I am not sure if Fosh wants to even. This is a hard shot. He's got to use a lot of like hold up English inside, or he's got to use inside English here. And he gets there. And where's the one going? Oh, it almost went in. So, Foch is appearing to be back on his game. Johnny's playing a lot of safeties, uh, which I'm not used to seeing. Maybe he's trying to play a safe game. Well, that's because he knows Foch has got his stroke back. Or at least he's getting it back. I don't know if there's going to be a rail here. It doesn't look like it. And it looks like it's ball in hand. No rail. Johnny's going to take ball in hand. This is the kind of stuff that's going to hurt you as a, you know, like when you're down. When you're down and it only gets worse. That's, that's <laughs> it's like a nightmare. Yeah. It just keeps on, what is it? Keeps on, keeps, I don't remember. <laughs> keeps going and going. Something like that. Yeah. Or it gets worse and worse. And there you go. You get to see the full view of uh, Johnny's Rackham t-shirt now. Vintage Hollywood billiards. Yeah. <laughs> Apparel. There was a period when I was actually going there, semi semi regularly. Yeah, oh, yeah. it was before we met. <clears throat> that's when they were still having their uh, happy hour. Oh yeah, it was between like five and eight p.m. I guess it was like four bucks an hour, table oh, wow. time. So uh, yeah. I took advantage of that. I mean, I, I was still uh, quasi banger status. You know, had my full set of cues and you were probably still playing drums then weren't you uh no uh, i don't i think i was pretty much done with the music thing uh i mean not that i've given up on it but 
I pretty much stopped doing that sometime about 2007-ish. Look at this. Uh, Johnny, Johnny's been getting all the chances, but not, now he's getting all the roles, too. And this is, this is only going to hurt Foch more, but Foch is a pretty good jumper. Well, actually, both Johnny and Foch are really good jumpers, but... This is pressure. There's more pressure for Foch. Oh, oh. The seven goes. The seven goes, and now the three ball's a duck. Yep. Look at that. Foch went fishing, and he found a duck. Not too shabby. Now, if he just, you know, he just can't doubt his own stroke, just, just play this like it's a drill. Hey, by the way, man, thanks for doing this, dude. Streaming oh, this yeah. all weekend? You know, I didn't have anything else to do. Hey, man, this, kind this, of. this is killer. <laughs> this is killer for that you're doing this, man. Yeah, well, I'm always I'm glad to be here. This is a uh, you know kind of a staple event of the little bit of streaming that I do, or what's left, rather. Yeah, but I mean, for those who don't know, a lot of times when Tar is streaming, you're actually working on it. Yeah, I mean, you know, for those who don't know, Andy's no stranger to streaming. He, he's he's streaming all the time sometimes, but just not on his own, right? Yeah, well, under the tar umbrella, it's it's tar. Yeah, so. but you've been there probably three times already this year, right? Uh, or twice? No, already. Reno, Reno Bar Table. Reno Bar Table. Uh, Vegas, the U.S. Open One Pocket and Ten Ball. So five, five times. Was that five times? See, I'm telling you. I don't, I don't know. Man. See, Andy thinks he's not doing this much, but he does this more than he remembers. It's just, uh, I, get, I just don't do my own independent streams as much as I did uh, maybe yeah. you know, a couple years ago or even last year. Um, but... Wow. wow. It's going around the world, and is it going to end up... I think he's okay. Okay. I think he's okay. He's, he's okay. Very precarious shape there. But uh, what an excellent shot, given what he had. You know, it was a go-for-it shot, and he got the go-for-it results. All right, there you go. It's now four games to one. Johnny Kang in the lead and on Barbara and Bart Mahoney we've got uh, six to four Barbara is down two games Bart Mahoney leading so six four would mean he's on the hill and Barbara just cut the heck out of a two ball along the short rail and got perfect shape for the three ball so I'll let you know if she wins that rack meanwhile Johnny Everybody's got to use the brake cloth here. The you know the tables are brand new, brand new felt, done by Oscar and Ernesto Dominguez, and uh, the brake cloths are you know very important when you have a fresh new table as well. And especially since there's a big big tournament with this many players, uh, you know, in a very short period of time, you're getting a lot of mileage. Yeah out of these uh, tables. Wow, now that shot, people might think it, he was playing a two-way or trying to hit the one. He played that safety. He knew exactly where he was going to put his cue ball. And if you see the two and the nine, the way, the way it's down table, he didn't want to have to fight the traffic to bring the cue ball down table. So making the one to try to get shape on a two that isn't, isn't really there is not worth it. So Foch played safe. Look, 
Johnny's trying to spin around two rails with a lot of English. Look at this. Look at that hit. Wow. Nice job. Sorry about that. Oh, Marie says hi. Say hello. Good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know, that's Marie. That's She's uh, the tournament director at Bellflower Hard Times. She's got a big old smile on her face with her dentine ice gum. It's Sean. Oh, it's Sean White Stride Wintermint. Her fave. Hey, maybe we should be getting a couple of bucks from Sean White Gum. What do you think, Andy? Sounds good. I guess if uh, we get Sean White involved, then uh, we should get Target involved, and then we'll have Target sponsor this stream next time. That's right. There we go. Target. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if we're going to go that far, might as well just get Walmart on board as well. We can uh, have Red Bull do this, too. Yeah, Red Bull. Pursue all the action sports. Uh, how about sponsors? how about uh, what is that new uh, punch Punch Mountain Dew? <laughs> oh, you're not gonna offer to get me anything. Actually, I think it's you. Just coffee. Relax, food, and talk. Daniel likes it black. Marie Lim, everybody. Stream good. Stream good. Love you guys. Thank you. Love you guys too. Love you too. That was Marie Lim. Do you know I had her on the stream one time commentating with me and she was crunching corn nuts in my microphone. Oh god. For, <laughs> for five minutes. And I, I didn't I couldn't tell. I couldn't, I couldn't right. hear it. I think But the chat room was going crazy. Yeah, I think someone in the chat room told me finally. So Barbara Lee actually is still grinding away in this game against Barb Mahoney. It's still six three. But uh, Johnny now, what's the deal here? He can't see the five to the corner, can he? He's thinking about the combo. Huh? Um, and I think Johnny gave him a clear shot at the five, at least to move uh, move with it, you know? Yeah. He might be able to move the, uh, the cue ball where he wants. And uh, Foch is deciding right now what is the most appropriate shot for this time. I think he... Uh, Side pocket? I think he can only see the ball straight. Like, I don't think he can really get any angle on either side of the ball because of the two balls around it. Uh -huh. He can only kind of hit it straight. Yeah. See, he froze it because he, 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 he didn't have any other angle, really. Look at that. Wow. That was a really wise shot because in, in case the safety didn't work out, he's jacking, jacking Johnny up over the six. And this is almost like he has to try to either make it or play safe. I mean, I don't know. He's afraid to shoot at this. I've seen him make these, though. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny makes these. Just not this time. Yeah, just not. And he misses them, too, so. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Lee just gave up ball in hand to Bart Mahoney, and it's six games to four. We really... So it looks like know. Bart's about five balls away. Yeah, he's he's on the five. So Barbara's sitting in her chair, hoping it's not all over here. And I agree. Oh, well, nice safety back from Foch, huh? Uh, that was. 
was like, look at this. What? I think Johnny got there too. Well, that was a friendly roll for Johnny. Bart Mahoney just missed the seven and gave it back to Barbara. He must not want to win that bet. <laughs> what bet was it? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you get ball in hand, five balls away from closing out the set. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Take your time. Make yeah. it count. There, it's not a difficult layout either. It wasn't a difficult layout. It wasn't. So, so Barbara's got an easy layout too. So let's just <clears throat> hope for the best for her right now. She's trailing two games. Look at the safety battle over here, though. This is pretty cool. Huh? These guys are really sparring right now. Look at the cue ball. Wow, Johnny Kang reaching in his bag. Right? Perfect shape, yeah. And that was Barbara I'm talking about. Oh, yes. from oh, Barbara. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. I guess she could have rolled a little more of it. Yeah. Foch can make this, actually, but... Uh, but look at this. These guys are really selecting the right shots oh, right now. Okay. Not quite. He wanted to get that cue ball right under the nine. Yeah, he, he didn't get the ball perfect. He ran out of gas. He, he had an idea for it, but it, I think he was avoiding the scratch as well. He didn't want to scratch. Johnny should, should get that, and will he get shape? Uh, well, I wonder Slide if that combo's, combo's lined up or not. Johnny's real good at combos. Barbara, bridging for this last shot on the nine. Is it going to go? Please, come on now. Come on, Barbara. You can make it. There you go. All right, Barbara's catching up. It's six games to five against Bart Mahoney. She's racking right now. Now, Johnny played a good safe here. Or did he try to combo? Did he try the combo? I was watching Barbara. <laughs> oh. As were you <laughs> during that. All right, this is Johnny's second chance, second free chance at this, this rack. It's not going to go. It's not going to go. Foch is going to go back down and smile on the way. This is kind of a good match if you think about it. I mean, Johnny had him 3-0, didn't he? That was a beautiful stroke. Now Foch is starting to come to come to life a little bit. And this is this is his style. Total uh, f you know, fast and loose free stroke looking guy, you know. Because that's what he does do. He free strokes. And it looks good when he does it too. Yeah, when he's actually uh, making balls, it's something. It can be a little intimidating. So this is the last match for you tonight? Yes, sir. I'd like to thank the uh, folks that are still here sweating all these uh, matches at this hour. Although it is Saturday, and, you know, Saturday's a reason to stay up later. It's still starting to get a little late. Although right about this time, it's nice. probably our, our noon for pool players. Yeah, he, because he, got, he, he got actually got shape on the two. Exactly. And look at his uh, his. He he wasn't thinking about being safe. He wanted to make it. He was willing to. 
take any consequence there. Oh, who said it was safe? <laughs> who said it was safe, Andy? <laughs> did I say it was safe? I think I did. Oh. Oh, we Thank love you Marie. So she comes in with the coffee. Clutch moment for, for Marie. Thank you. This is what we called oh, black gold. Black gold, man. This is what I need right now. You need it too, huh? Yeah. Barbara's giving up ball in hand, and it looks like there's a, a one nine combo possibly on. Score is now six to five. Barbara trailing by one. Is the combo or the carom? Or I think it's a carom here. He's going to play a carom, isn't he? Yeah. All right, Johnny is. What's Johnny doing? What's Johnny doing over here? He's playing a three rail safe kick? No, he's just going to go make that three ball as planned. He's playing <laughs> ultra aggressive right now. And, uh, well, you know, you know, I think. I think that their core is sort, sort of, um, well, Johnny's still playing the right shots. I've noticed him. Right. I think that cut shot for Johnny was a two-way shot because the cue ball, you know, he was trying to keep it down low to the rail. And Bart misses that. Uh, ball and head opportunity. Yeah. The carom shot on the nine. Good call there, Andy. I didn't. I didn't actually see it. Well, I mean, it would have. It's either what we see now, or uh, they're both putting their cues away. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's true. She's playing a really difficult shot. I don't know. This is. I, she, it looks she, like she's gonna try and draw back. Well, I would just stop it, but it's an. It's. It's making me uncomfortable, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't... Oh, well, oh, oh, Where's oh, the nine going? Where's the nine going? Something. What's going on? Uh, might she's be, almost, might be a nice... She's kind of safe. Yeah. All right, so back over here. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. We're doing two matches at once. <laughs> you get what you pay for here on uh, Andy of L.A. Yep. Your free stream... <laughs> Entertainment. So I'd be willing to entertain more uh, content um, if, such if, as what? if there were more, uh, you know, if there were a, a big bag of dog treats. Mm. We'd give you more quality. We just focus, focus on the match at hand. Bart uh, Mahoney here just. Made a made the one ball. But anyway, he's he, that rock's gonna go around a little bit, I think. So look at this. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be. That's not the score, is it? On your board, it's gonna be. Oh. Five three now, right? Five three. What if just Johnny happened? Johnny runs this out. It'll be five three. I. If Johnny runs yeah, this out, it'll be what, five three. I wonder what happened. What does that Did mean? you change the three to a one accidentally? Yeah, I I possibly have. Johnny loves these shots. Low outside. Yeah, Here we low go. Low outside. <laughs> it's every time. Low outside and adjust speed accordingly. He'll, he'll play inside though sometimes. He does that too. I've seen, I mean, I see him do it. What's happening with Dave Hemmes' match? Five to two, six to two, three, six, six to, to three. three. Just, Justin's losing. Mm, that would be the logical guess, but <laughs> I, I can't say because I haven't been paying the most attention. Oh, you know, Fox has just received a few really, really good lifelines in this uh, match in, in the past few games. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, well, I think it also comes with the territory. 
Uh, yeah. You know, you can't be too aggressive every time. Sometimes you just got to learn to duck. And as much as Johnny is playing his share of safeties, I think, uh, uh. you know, he's still going for the pocket more times than he should. Then again, I, I come from a slightly more conservative, you know, mindset. If, if I don't like the layout, if I don't like the run, I'll probably play safe. Well, you know, both these guys are actually real gunslingers, though. You know, they, they know oh, yeah. how to make hard shots. And they both know it, too. <clears throat> it's a test of your own, you know, uh, I don't know, your knowing your own game knowing your, yeah. knowing what you're capable of you know whoa do you see yep. that mm, there he is he shook his head rattle yeah it, was just rattle. it did rattle and it shook his head he but said, no kicked and screamed on its way in <laughs> thank goodness uh, I guess it's kind of the opposite but just a beer glass drop we're all right so, and a Mark Hang's been in a match actually now. Looks like they're on rack number five, three to one against someone. I don't know who it is. Do you know who that is? I don't. So, did, are, have you received any play the game or hustling? Merchandise for your hard work yet? Was I supposed to? I hope you. Sh I hope you get something. You should. No, I have not. Well, darn it! Somebody donate twenty bucks or something to Andy right now, <laughs> so that he can get himself a hustling T-shirt or a play the game polo. Right, right. <laughs> I really want a polo shirt. You know, what color? I'd probably go with standard black because it matches with everything. I mean, they have the the red one too. You know. Oh, do they? Okay. Yeah, with the embroidered logo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Seriously, it's someone, I mean, you guys need to, you know, speak up. Donate a little little money over to Andy's way. He's uh, he's working really hard to make, make this stream happen for you guys. Yeah, I could be sleeping, actually. You could be. Actually, you were going to pack up. I was, actually, early, I you? was going to pack up after Andy was talking to me about Ernesto it and uh, Efren. Yeah. yeah. But he remains. And just, the work he's got to do after this is is immense as well. I can't even I can't even begin to discuss what it's. Oh, breaking down the booth. Just I, yeah, exactly. And I don't know. Take you it one to, step at a time. You have to do transcriptions of all of these <laughs> by hand. Like, yes, I do. With an old Samson typewriter. No, I use freehand. And the old-fashioned ribbons. I use freehand. So. All right. I don't know why I'm. So well, I appreciate I appreciate the uh, the no, plug. Actually, it's uh, true. There's a donate button on Andy's website. I'm just going to interrupt him and tell you guys this. Go to his website, andyofla.com, and just scroll down a little bit. You'll see a donate button. Donate to Andy Chen. He's really, really, you know, one of these guys that deserves a lot of support. Uh, very talented filmmaker as well. If anybody ever needs anything shot or wants to talk about any industry stuff with him, uh, when it comes to media and entertainment, get in touch with Andy Chen. Andy Chen at what? What Gmail? Andy of LA at. Uh, well, it, uh, to get in touch with me, or yeah. it would just be Andy Chen twenty three at gmail dot com. That's right. If anybody ever needs to contact him for filming or any type of uh, technical assistance, give him a call. Give you a could also an email. just go to the contact section on my website, andyofla.com, and uh, you can just fill in the blanks. Uh-oh. Yeah, 
that's not good. I think uh, Foch needs a little technical assistance. What do you think? Well, uh, only if my technical assistance was pertinent to uh, his line of uh, <laughs> needs. <laughs> I don't think camera and lighting would do much for him right now. No, <laughs> camera and lighting is only going to make things worse in the end <laughs> for yeah. him right now. All right. So, yeah, hook, hook him up, man. Andy Chen, we all, you know, he... he for those of you who don't know, Andy Chen has been uh, a pioneer in this, you know, one of the pioneers out here on SoCal doing streaming. And, uh, you know, I've also learned a lot about streaming from him. So, if, you know, in a way, if it wasn't for Andy giving me the confidence to go out and do this, I wouldn't be able to do it either. So, you know, he, he's... But, but in Andy's fact, a you've actually... I'm doing this too. Yeah, you've actually uh, taken what little I could have uh, shown you and uh, expanded and progressed with it far yeah, beyond I what I could have imagined and what I even would do for myself so more power to you and uh, yeah well more you power know. to all of us I hope you know we're all here you know life is a long road Many turns, twists and turns, and yeah, definitely. So, um, speaking of the turns, uh, Barbara Lee is uh, unfortunately eliminated by Bart, but uh, looked like a hill hill match. No, no, uh, six almost. five, seven five. Final you know, score. it actually would have been hill hill if she uh, there was that one nine ball. Yeah, uh, she hit just a little bit too hard, yeah. and uh, the pockets right. just didn't quite accept it. Wait, am I seeing this? Is this the second nine ball Foch has missed? I think they're on three innings apiece now. But uh, the, you're kidding! This is the third inning. Statistically and theoretically speaking, Johnny should be making this nine ball presented to him. And if he doesn't, um, I'm going to turn off the stream. Well, maybe so, this is, maybe we're going for a world record here. Well, maybe it'll be yeah. like a 12-inning thing on the nine ball. Right, right. It'll be like extra innings in baseball. There you go. Guess All not. All right. You guys have to thank Johnny because the uh, stream's still going to go. Yeah, it's uh, now six games to three. Oh, yikes. Todd Minobi misses a nine ball in the side. By the way, who's Todd playing? I don't know. And who's winning? I also don't know. I it guess looks we'll, like we'll a find score out. Soon. Five to three, or six to three, actually. It looks like six to three. You know, I think Todd's winning, judging by that shot that that guy just shot. <laughs> Maybe you know. Look at you can see Maybe Todd's body language. He's just sitting back, like. Maybe it's over. Maybe Todd won. No, no, no. They're playing. They're still in the middle of a oh, game. Yeah, they they are. I think it says six three though, and I think Todd's ahead. That's a smart move. All right, so back here in Johnny Kang and Foch Garcia. Oh yeah, match between these guys Score is six games to three, and uh, this is a race to eight winner side. And yes, this is the last match for today's session. Can you believe it? They're still calling matches out. You're kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. One in the morning, one eleven a.m. They're calling matches. Hey, one hundred and sixty-two players. You got to do it. Yeah, yeah, I, I I agree. Big Jamie, I appreciate if you did not use caps in the chat room. It may or may not be intentional, but. Uh, Yeah, using caps means you're yelling at everybody. That's right, no flashing, no flashing. <laughs> 
G.G. King, Kevin Boyd. G.G. King, Kevin Boyd. Let's see. Alex Hill, no cross posting, please. Yeah, it's hard enough out here in Sacramento. You know, both players are actually playing perfect speed in, in which if they miss, they miss it the right way. Well, yeah, there, yeah, there's still, there's a total margin for error even on that when you, if you even overroll it or underroll it a little, playing it with more speed. It's called hitting medium speed, basically. Right, right. Wow. You play, you play speed on the cue ball. You're trying to get... Oh, Todd, Todd lost it. Yeah. You know what, though? Even though Todd lost, he really won. In fact, he won this whole entire tournament. I, I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> He's the luckiest man in this room right now. right he's just got engaged yeah Danielle for those of you who joined us from the first hour uh, he proposed to Danielle on the stream um, and uh, Todd really? had told me about the story that um, Chuck and Karen Chuck Markoulis of course who uh, has been a longtime friend and mentor to, to Todd purposely locked him and Danielle out of Varsity Billiards at 2 in the morning just to get them to... So that they would get to know each other. Exactly, because they, they knew that they both liked each other. There and, you go. Uh, so Todd only found it appropriate to uh, close that circle. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that was great. I was, you know, I, was, I had tears to my eyes oh, when me it was too. going on, man. I had the sniffles. It and was, uh, was one like, of the most beautiful things I had seen in a long time. And yeah. I, I didn't have my camera with me. I wished I had it on me. Oh, yeah. It's going to probably reflect the flash. Yeah. Right? It's going to just be all flash. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. <laughs> she didn't have the flash on. That's good. So, in retrospect... Who gives in F if you lose? Cause if you lose? If Todd loses. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's, he's having the greatest day of yeah. his life. Who cares? He's Who never cares what forget happens? This. Yeah. He's in love. 20, More power. 20 years? They've known yeah. Well, they, they Over actually, 20 years. They have, it's a beautiful story. They were they, together three years. Three years they were together, but over 20 years ago. And then they were apart for 15. They were apart for 15 years. Yeah. And then, and then um, they started to reconnect, what, five years ago? Uh, something like that. When I, when I first met Todd, that was in like 06, 07, yeah. something like that. I think he was... I'm sure what, she was already what in. What was it he said? I realized it was that time apart. It was I, the 15 years that we spent apart that made our... Had to happen or something? Made our love for each other grow even stronger. Something like that. I mean, it was it was touching. He said something like it had to happen yeah. in order for us to become stronger or something yeah. like that. It was really, it was really yeah. great. So congratulations, Todd. Congratulations to Todd. Yeah. Definitely. I love you, buddy. Yeah. Todd and Danielle. On another note, uh, Johnny is on the hill right now. Well, he, that was a little lackadaisical, the way he just went, it, went into that shot. Like, oh, no problem. You know, sometimes he always gives off that, that vibe. Like, like Cavalier, you mean? Kind of cavalier. Yeah, just very casual about the way he hits balls and yeah, one-two stroke and well, look at look, look at what Foch does. He goes, oh, he's, he's punishing him. He's, yeah. What what is Johnny gonna do here? Wow. What okay. Could he possibly what is he gonna be doing jump here? Over? He's gonna go for the razor thin jump. 
No, maybe it's an extension. I think it's just an extension. Okay. Wait. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah it is, it is an extension. <laughs> But that means he's gonna shoot the short right the the short hop. The short kick. Uh-huh. So it'll be a two railer is what it'll be. But you know, even coming from this angle, kicking, I don't know. Oh, I think he's way off. I think he's way off. I, yeah, I knew he was way off. Botch, ball in hands. It's time to clean up the room, he says. shot but he almost didn't get he almost you know kind of got funny came close to that seven that was very small margin for error on that yeah, he's all right Foch is dragging it out isn't he <laughs> he's just gonna make this match longer by not letting Johnny beat him <laughs> You know, it could very well end up being a hill hill match if uh Absolutely. I think there's a break. Time for a break. Foch is gonna go take a break. I'd say we should take a break ourselves, but it's the last match. Yeah, well it's not even so much that it's the last match, it's he's on the hill, Johnny. Yes, so, he is on the hill. So at any moment's notice, it really could be over. So, you know, it's my first time meeting Brian LaFlam as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I never met Brian before. Did you know of him before? Well, yes. His, you know, I had, over the past couple of years, his name's come up and stuff like that. But right, right. Just never had an opportunity to meet him. I mean, I was here last year, but I just... And he's CJ Robinson, reports to Table 10. CJ Robinson, the Table 10. We never just uh, really connected, so... It just never did come around. And, uh, I guess I was kind of unaware of how involved he was with this event, you know. Well, I think he does the uh, regular weekly streams. Oh, is that what he's been doing? I think so. Those are, you know, that right on. table that happens to be in the way of everybody down right, there right. <laughs> um, he usually has a tripod set up um, he had one uh, this morning I think. yeah it's a no commentary single table surveillance right. camera right. style stream <laughs> okay it's the last match this is possibly the last rack one will never know but one is definitely on the hill, and that's Johnny Kang. And Foch trails by two, two games. Is this a winner's side? Yeah, it is. Right? It is a winner's so side. So he trails by three games. The score is 7-4. It's a race to eight. I thought it was 7-5, but I guess it is only 7-4. Yeah, well, there's uh, two promises that I can keep for you guys. First promise is there will be four games at the absolute most from this point on. And the second one is I promise you there will be a winner. Well, wait a minute. Did I want to know something. Does the stalemate rule still apply in nine ball? Yeah, I think the it does. The stalemate rule, you know, when you have to play yeah. more than 
three of the same shots that yeah okay well there's a stalemate right you can stalemate yeah there there balls. could be a stalemate but um so you can't promise can you well, <laughs> i'm just kidding. I, i'm gonna promise it anyway <laughs> all right okay <laughs> that you will get at the most four games remaining in this stream a good shot and uh, I actually I do had like a cup of coffee and got more tired how, how did can you explain that I think it was spiked oh my goodness I I, I do like Foch to get out from here um, Me I too. think I think this four ball is a last obstacle has to get onto the proper side of the five. Well, he's he's got to roll forward, but he can't, he can't, he's got to put some speed into it. He's got that window between the six and the nine that that is pretty much the only window that he can bring the cue ball into. He's choosing an interesting angle of approach here. Uh-oh. Uh, I think he's okay. He decided kind to of okay, back. yeah. You know, he can just naturally f um, cut this in and use the, the nine ball to stop the cue ball and, and allow him shape on the six. No, he goes around the nine ball. That was good. It's Perfect. probably better than how I would have played it. I probably would have over overrolled that shot. to draw there. Why draw when you can follow? That's what I've been told. But sometimes you need to draw. Absolutely. And well, very quickly it becomes seven games to five. I think we got Johnny kind of getting a little bit nervous in his seat. You think so? I don't know. See. Well, we'll wait one more game and see what happens. Then I think see, then watch then, him sweat a little. Yeah, that'll be funny. Watch him come to the table and he's actually sweating. He'll show a couple of chinks in his armor. You know what I mean. Mike Pi, Mike Pi, saying goodbye. Andy, do you see Mike? Or is he talking to you or, or to Marie and them? No, he's talking. To <laughs> he's talking. Or uh, I thought he was like, trying to get our our uh, our attention. Uh, one day I was, and, and I'm sure it happens to everybody in different situations, but I was out uh, surfing one day mm -hmm. uh, when I was much younger, when I was more physically able to get out there and surf. And I paddle out there and there's these two people that are just like, hey, how was the water or something? I was like, oh, it's good. And then, and then I hear like, Another response, oh, it's good. And right behind me, <laughs> turns out they were, they were talking to the person right behind oh, me. Oh, right, right. It right. happens. And then you just kind of like... Oh, you feel you know, embarrassed. Like, you, like, yeah. you like do the, the little hand swipe over your head. Like, sure, oh, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> there we were. It's even more embarrassing. When, well, was it a girl saying something? I don't remember. See, it's even more embarrassing when it's like a girl, like in a room, like a... Because you think like she's talking to you, yeah. Something, yeah. And, and then it's like it's her boyfriend who's like six foot four, <laughs> three hundred and twenty pounds, standing right above you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't think I don't think there was any hope for that shot. I think Johnny purposely played a safety there. I think he purposely overcut that. He plays, he plays a smart safety or two once in a while, Johnny does. He'll throw you for a loop.
Yeah, clearly that wasn't for us. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Someone's like over here passing out ice cream sandwiches and stuff, and we're not getting anything. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, whatever. I guess we should have told Marie we wanted more than just coffee. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's getting the massage? Is that Oscar? I could use one for sure. My neck's been killing well, me. You, you too, if you're. If you're number 12 in the country, you can get massages, too. <laughs> yeah. Free massages. I'm going to think of something that I could be number 12 in the country at. Yeah, no kidding. is the longest that we have had to wait for a shot to be executed in a match. Yeah, and <laughs> actually <you> <laughs> this is uh, this is almost the longest, I think. Ironically speaking, I, I decided to do this Foch and Johnny match because I was like, oh yeah, they're both fast shooters. They're fast shooters, it's not going to take long, but uh, it's yeah. like, you know, when it this becomes actually, Hill Hill, it actually takes a long time. This is taking a lot longer than These guys the both average want to win. That was a beautiful safety. And it's going to be there. It's going to be there. I think he's... I would have to say that Foch is there. Johnny could maybe jump this a little. He doesn't need to jump it high. Really doesn't need to jump it high. He actually is looking like he's got a shot without jumping it. Well, he could have got there. Talk about insurance, man. You see that? I know. It's getting hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we're both just standing up at this point. Yeah. You definitely, definitely need like a couple of Barker loungers back here or something. Yeah. Some kind of special backrest or something like that. That's the worst part of uh, this this particular location. That there aren't any real chairs. Right, right. For those of you who haven't been to this hard times, we're yeah, actually you? sitting on uh, little benches. Stadium bench seating. Well, this is the time of the night when uh, actually a lot less people are playing and it gets a little louder in the pool hall, you know? With a lot of anxiety. Well, they're just messing around, nothing serious, but, you know, people get more relaxed this time of night. Yeah, but you know what? They should still have respect for uh, the, their fellow, you know players who are still in a match sure sure and i'm surprised that uh janet is, or is any of the other uh other tournament directors will make an announcement to well they, they have been up for a long time they've been working real hard you know they might be a little bit oblivious as well you know yeah so uh, you, you you work for this long and you you start to become a little bit uh less sensitive to everything going on around you Hey, uh, take care, Bacon. Uh, thanks for joining the stream. I, I guess think you, he's gone. I, I think I guess you said that like 17 minutes ago. <laughs> so sorry we missed. So sorry we missed you leaving. You know these guys are playing some good safety battles. I have to say, are they not? And I think the safety battle ends right here. I know. I was just thinking about that. I cursed. I cursed the. 
the moment. Ooh, did Johnny overdraw? So I still can't tell from Johnny. Does that mean he doesn't have a shot, or, or he does have a shot? <laughs> you know, he's like always the same. But he does have a shot, but you just can never tell sometimes from him. Right. It's almost like a poker face, you know. Johnny wanted to be almost straight right on that shot. He really wanted to be more more straight. But he's okay here. He just has a stroke. He loves these kind of shots. He'll just stroke back. Low slide outside. Slide that ball back a little. Yeah, there you go. The longer that shot is, the harder it is for him to do what he wants to do with the cue ball here. But he's, he's managed to play it so that it's short. And he can move the cue ball wherever he wants to. And that's where he wants it. He wanted to be maybe a little straighter here, too, or even a little more of an angle. Either one of those would have been acceptable. But he's going to be okay here, too. Played that real well. And that is going to end this race. It's going to be eight games to five. Johnny Kang.